Hey, you're on everybody. This is Ken from Kalakeke out here in Castaic, trying to talk to you about Te Mana Ori. Today we're here in Nonacina land with the lovely Auntie Ricky, who is uh, one of our judges. And um, we're very blessed to have her um, to actually be one of our judges. And we just wanted to get a little information from her and ask her a few questions. So is that all right with you, Auntie Ricky? Perfectly all right. All right. Here's the first one. Can you tell us about your experience with Tahitian Ori and Tahitian solo competitions? Tahitian Ori, I have a lifetime training in Polynesian dancing. Uh, my first love in all Polynesian dancing is always with Tahitian. And then at, a, at the age of like 17, I toured with the Tahitians, the group that originated from Tahiti and traveled around the U.S., Canada. And really loved Tahitian dance so much and started entering more Tahitian competitions, groups, solos. I myself was a soloist and won a competition in 72. From that, as we started winning, we started doing workshops internationally, got to perform in Tahiti. That was really a big honor. Uh, many times we've been to Tahiti. And then uh, right now, I've been judging a lot of competitions as well as conducting uh, Tahitian workshops. I didn't know all that, that's pretty deep. Yeah. All right, we don't get to know that. We don't get to know those things with the judges all the time. Like yeah, that. I'm honored, I, I've been judging a lot. All right, okay. Um, what do you think is the benefit for people competing in solo competitions? I use competition as a forum to motivate a dancer to try their best. In the competition world, there's that light side of competition, which is good sportsmanship, not focusing on the win, putting all of our energy into the dance. And then there's that dark side where uh, bad sportsmanship, always disgruntled, uh, feel you got robbed, you ripped off. So as a director, it's up to you on which path you choose. I choose the light side, so out of that, I benefit with it being a more positive experience. And if we don't win, it's okay. But we just want to um, use it as a forum to better ourselves as dancers. Cool. We get to hear that one-on-one, -on -one, but you guys get to hear this right now. Here's a good question. I know a lot of people are ask, asking this in their minds. Um, what are some things that you look for in a great soloist? Um, when we judge Tahitian dancing, as in any type of dancing, we have our score sheets, which has a criteria on it. The criteria is usually the knowledge of basic steps, um, their showmanship, their rhythm, how well they follow a beat, their energy. So all of these things are important when I see a teaching dancer. Some dancers I see that they, they have that fire within them. So I can tell that they have that, that desire to try their best. Those are the ones that have the more, more of a wow factor. And with that comes the hard work with their basic training, knowledge of basic steps, how well they implement them. And um, the rhythm is very important, as well as their showmanship and their costuming. You put it all together, and that comprises a great dance. Mm. So me wearing my Golden State Warriors hat would make me win because they're, they're winning right now? Yeah, I guess I, I, I don't know that team. <laughs> <laughs> That's because everybody likes the Lakers down here. But. Yeah, I'm a, I'm a Laker. Oh, okay. All right, so here's, here's the last question, Auntie. Why do you think these people should come to Te Mana Ori? Anytime you have a forum, a competition to enter in, I, I think it's great for directors to put the dancers in because the more competitions you enter, you, it, you tend to get better you tend to motivate that dancer because that's a very important part of dancing and getting better and to open up your mind to see other dancers and what's out there in the Tahitian dance world and to being a part of that and sharing that it's really a cultural thing too it's not just about the winning and a trophy but I think it's honoring a beautiful culture which is Tahitian culture. Okay. All right, Auntie Ricky, thank you so much for your input. We really appreciate it. We hope you guys appreciate it. Um, we hope that you come down and experience Temana Ori. You know, she's a re very well-respected um, director in Polynesian dance world, so we're really uh, blessed to have her on here. So, um, you know what, Auntie? I'm gonna see how well your judging is. And, you know, I'm gonna do some moves, and then you're gonna give me some feedback out loud, okay? Is that all right? Okay, but I'm pretty straight up. Oh, yeah? Don't hurt my feelings, I'm gonna cry. <laughs>
How about my potties, Auntie? I think your potties are good. It's very big. Yeah. But I think just working on some stamina. Oh yeah. Yeah. You saying I'm you saying I'm out of shape? <laughs> Little. <laughs> so soloists, get your applications in, and spectators, buy your tickets, and let's get ready to Ori. Warriors!